We've got the donation receipts for Judge McAfee, judge and donor to Fannie Willis. But it gets worse. It's worse than that. What in the world is up with this guy? I'm Doug Tadepo. Welcome to Doug in Exile. If you're here watching with us, then you're in exile. And you're helping us get the news out. So come and join us in exile. Let's have some fun together. It's another time for America's corrupt soap opera, Fannie Willis. Fannie Willis. Fannie Willis is a corrupt local hack politician. Here's a piece. Judge overseeing Trump's Georgia case donated to Fannie Willis campaign prior to his appointment. Now, that's already been going around. Most of us already heard that. But the details are much worse than that. And I want to prove to you that this judge, I'm not saying he's going to go in favor of Fannie Willis. If he does, I'm going to accuse him of being a total hack because he has not lived his life beyond reproach. And that's his problem, not mine. Fannie Willis, we are going to not talk about mine. this case that everybody is talking about because my oh my, I'm telling you, it is a dumpster fire and I can't look away. The whole thing is corrupt. Fulton County is a complete embarrassment. And that includes Brian Kemp, that includes this McAfee judge. Okay, here we go. Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee, who is overseeing the case against former President Donald Trump, made a small donation, tiny, I'll be the judge of that, of $150 to Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis' campaign prior to his appointment. Why would anyone give Democrat anti-Trumper $150? Judge McAfee should recuse himself already. He's already shown he's corrupt. Who would give Bonnie Willis even $150? I wouldn't <laughs> give her one penny. <laughs> what is a judge doing giving her $150? One penny. It is like giving $150 to David Duke. You can say, look, it was only $150. And people would say, no, excuse me, this is to David Duke. She's in charge of the DA's office going after Donald Trump and interfering with our election over these phony RICO charges? Yes, Mark Levin, she is that same person. And McAfee, Judge McAfee, gave her $150 donated to her to push her, to help her, to lift her up, to put his hands on her buns and hold her up and lift her up higher. That's what the judge did. $150? You recuse yourself, sir. McAfee, who was sworn in on February 1st of 2023 after being appointed by Republican Georgia Governor Brian Kemp. Oh, there's a vote for confidence. Made his donation. I wonder how much Brian Kemp gave to Fonnie Willis. Who knows, right? Made his donation in June of 2020 while still working as an assistant U.S. attorney for the Department of DOJ. Apparently, that's how you get up in Fulton County, Georgia. Apparently, that's how you get climb the judge ladder, supposed to be impartial, is while you're working for the Department of Justice, you better donate to some candidates. You better be shoveling it out to Fonnie Willis, Soros funded Fonnie Willis. According to financial disclosures, look, here's the final, this is what a final uh, financial disclosure looks like. There's the state of Georgia campaign contribution disclosure request. This has the date on it that shows that it's going to found Fonnie Willis on that says June 30th, 2020. Someone had to cough this up for us because this judge who's supposed to come forward with this information, my guess is he was hiding it. He sure as hell didn't forget. Would you forget if you gave Fonnie Willis $150? McAfee now, also formerly worked under Fonnie Willis. Would you That's forget? Weird, because half the men in Georgia apparently worked under Fonnie Willis. Uh, when she led the complex trial division in the Fulton County District Attorney's Office, according to the New York Times, and just imagine how sterling she acted in the office and how credible she was uh, stuffing cash in her mattress even back then. She's so competent. They said this woman... We have to get her a promotion. Atlanta-based criminal defense attorney and legal analyst Phil Holloway told the Daily Caller Fountain McAfee's donation was, quote, nominal, but said it should have been disclosed to the defendants so they could determine, quote, whether they believed that amount 
to a conflict of interest uh, in the part of the judge. Yeah, usually you, this is disclosure, you cough that information up just to make sure that you're living beyond reproach. Why didn't he, Judge McAfee state that amount? Was it too small? Not too small to me. My opinion is, now I get to have an opinion because you didn't live your life beyond reproach, McAfee, is that now I suspect you're compromised. I believe this donation was not insignificant. I believe $150 given to a corrupt crumb like Fonnie Willis, a barely literate imbecile who slept her way to the top and had nothing but criminals towing her ass up that hill her whole life. For you to give $150, I don't care if it was $1. You're an imbecile, you're corrupt, and you're paying your way to the top. That's my opinion of you. Quote, the donation itself is more or less a token amount. I'll say it's a token amount and was made prior to his becoming a judge, unquote. He said, quote, but failure to disclose to the defendants a political donation to this prosecutor can be seen as a present appearance of a conflict of interest. Yes, judges are required to avoid even the appearance of conflict of interest. And McAfee, it's not the donation. It's that you hit it. That is what is not beyond the con uh, beyond the appearance is that you hit it. You didn't come up with it. It's always the cover up. It's not the crime itself. McAfee's other donations include $200 to Kemp's campaign, almost as bad as given to Fonnie Willis at this point, given he is such a spineless noodle um, in 2018, and $200 to Republican state representative candidate Lindsey Rudder's campaign in 2020. I don't know who that is. I have no opinion on it. According to financial disclosure, McAfee's wife donated $99 to Willis' campaign in 2020 and $101 in 2018. Why <laughs> in the world nice. is McAfee's wife paying money to Bonnie Willis twice? What is it in this guy's worldview that makes her miss stuff cash in it? Miss it's a black thing. Miss y'all are racist. Miss Lord, why? That's what inspires McAfee and his wife to give her money. I smell a rat. I smell a rat. You pasty white, bald, duplicitous insider. I smell you from a mile away. Here's the raw story. It's a nothing burger. Legal experts try to blow up. That's where our I smell you from a mile away. Up. New claims that judge is biased against Trump. Yeah, nice try. I don't believe you. Why did Candace Owens call Fonnie Willis a ghetto superstar besides Fonnie Willis being a ghetto superstar? Being a ghetto superstar. Now, there are a being lot a of adjectives that I could use to describe this misconduct hearing. I would say it's it's ghetto, it's ratchet, it's, it's fabulous in all the wrong ways. And then here's The Root magazine. Uh, pretending to be offended by Candace Owens. Professional troll Candace Owens truly outdid herself last week, dropping one of the most racist podcasts we've ever heard. Clearly, these people have never listened to Cornell West or J Reverend Jesse Jackson or Al Sharpton. You want to get racist? Go listen to one of them. You'll hear some. Or how about uh, Joe Biden? Listen to a Joe Biden podcast if you want to hear someone really go to the floor of racism like you've never seen before. So these people need to get out. Owen's target was none other than Fulton County, Georgia, District Attorney Fatty Willis, whom she called a ghetto superstar. And if you think that's bad, wait till you hear the rest of what Owens had to say. We're going to spare you some of that. But here's uh, Robert uh, Guvia Esquire. I've heard his name bounced around my audience a lot. Nathan Wade's ex-lawyer, Terrence Bradley, testified at the Fannie Willis disqualification hearing where government prosecutors called him a liar and accused him of assaulting employees and clients. Just remember that. That's how they treated him, is if you're going to come in and testify, Terrence Bradley, we're going to ruin you. This is backfill on some footage. We haven't seen this particular footage yet. <laughs> She says um, you want all my messages? Right. No problem. I'll give you all my texts. But 
So and, apparently, when she wait for her to ask a question, I, and I understand that, Judge, and I'm not. Well, trying apparently, to just... you don't, sir. Wait for her to ask a question, and you'll have a chance. Woof. Woof. So I, think what I... I just wanted to get uh, Robert's response on that, where he goes, "Whoa, whoa, we're going to watch this again really quick. Watch how the judge snaps at Terrence Bradley. I just want you to compare. How was Terrence Bradley addressing the judge?" compared to Fonnie Willis, where the judge did not snap out or watch it again. Give you all my but, so, and, Bradley, when she wait for her to ask a question. I, and I understand that, Judge, and I'm not well, trying to Well, apparently you just... don't, sir. Wait for her to ask a question, and you'll have a chance. Woof! Woof! So McAfee, Woof. donor to Fonnie Willis. When Fonnie Willis is up there calling people liar, throwing papers around, being a totally dismissive, See, he used to work for Fonnie Willis, and so he's deferential to her. He donated money to Fonnie Willis, and his wife donated money to Fonnie Willis, and that's why he's being so easy on her in spite of her completely disrupting. And then Mr. Terrence Broadley here barely speaks out of line, and McAfee jumps down his throat. McAfee's compromised, guys, I'm calling it. I don't know how he's going to judge on this thing, but I'm judging him to step down, give it up, guys, because this guy, Fulton County, is corrupt all the way through this judge. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. This is where the happy patriots are. I'm Doug in exile. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. What do you think? Yeah. Comment down below what you think, because I know you probably have something to say. Just comment down below and, you know, just say whatever you want to say. Uh, and, yeah, see you next video.